it going guys? You know it's the end of the month so it means uh, it's time for that horror pack unboxing. I don't really, usually I have some other stuff to show. I don't this time. I might talk about one movie I've seen afterwards but uh, let's go ahead and jump right into the box. Right off the bat we got a uh, Christian uh, Slater and Stephen Dorth movie. Rites of Passage. I've never seen this. I've seen it's like a 3.5 out of 10 on uh, IMDb, but I really don't know much about it. I usually like Christian Slater movies though, so looking forward to watching this one. Hopefully it's pretty good. Next we got um, Lords of Chaos, the director's cut. This is a pretty decent horror flick. It's kind of a brutal. This is the unrated director's cut of it. It's got Roy Culkin in it. It's about a... Uh, a metal band in the 90s it's supposed to be pretty gory this one uh, is about a 6.5 on IMDB uh, so you're, it's pretty quality pretty good movie to grab in horror pack the next one is the shallows I guess this one right on the site I knew this was coming uh, the they actually gave us a pretty good clue this month so I was so confident I actually took this one out of my Amazon card I was gonna grab this so I ended up getting it in a pack, and that's cool. This is like a 6.3 on IMDb. It's got Blake Lively. Pretty good movie. It's her and stuck out in the ocean, and she's got to fight sharks and a bunch of other stuff like Reef and just a bunch of other situations she has to get out of. Another quality pickup. So far, I don't own any of these, so that's good. Usually I have a double, but I don't this time. And this month's uh, number 50 limited edition is uh, a Tony Todd movie called Agoraphobia. This isn't what I was expecting. I was hoping for murder set pieces. I was really excited for it. and So it's a little bit of a letdown, but I, this still might be okay. It's a 3.4 on IMDb. It's actually signed by uh, Lou Simon. She's done uh, The Awakened and Hazmat and Agoraphobia. They all average about the same score, about a 3.5 out of, uh, on IMD. I think this one got a 3.4. So, hopefully it's good. Haven't heard too much about it. Uh, I'm not going to get too excited just because Tony Todd seems like he'll do anything now. Because, uh, you know, once, after a while they start just taking any job they can get. So, I'm not going to get super excited, but definitely going to watch it. Probably watch it tonight, and I'll give my, uh, opinions on it uh, I expected a little better for 50 but it happens that's horror pack sometimes it's good sometimes it's bad it's uh, 24 dollars a month to get four blu-rays one's always a limited edition so more than likely you're not going to have it I think maybe three movies that I've got that are limited edition I had like Jack Frost uh, and a couple scream teams I can't remember what they were but uh, sometimes they put Scream Team releases and I already have those. But uh, it's worth it for just the limited edition because most of the time you don't have it. And most of the Blu-rays, a new Blu-ray costs you 25 bucks. So I usually just say it's worth it just for that. You can also get a DVD that's four DVDs, but there's not a limited edition in those. So that one's kind of iffy, so I don't even mess with that one. But the Blu-ray I enjoy. I have been with them since the start. I have all 50 and uh have no plans of leaving even when it's bad they usually make up for it another month uh the other movie i want to talk about i watched was pretty good was uh megan fox has a new movie called rogue about a uh like a lion farm one of their uh you know the illegal lion farms where they steal their furs one of their lions escape and uh they're out on a mission and uh they come in contact with the line and starts killing all their people and stuff. Plus, they're battling those farmers, you know, those illegal farmers and things like that. So, it's a pretty good movie. I'm glad to see Megan Fox have something new. She's had a rough time in Hollywood with directors and such. So, it's good to see her get another chance. Hopefully, some people will check it out. It's 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 good. I'd I'd say it's a uh, it's it's about a six out of ten. It's worth a watch. I don't know if you want to buy it. I bought it. 
and I, I like having it in my collection, but I don't know if anybody, everybody's going to want to have it in their collection. It's something you'll watch over and over, but it's a good watch. If you have a chance to watch it, check out Rogue with uh, Megan Fox. But thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for the support, as always. I should have some uh, more videos coming soon with uh, some stuff I got from Indiegogo, some other independent horror movies. So I'll be showing those off and talking about those. But as always, thanks for watching, guys, and catch you next time.